What's up, peeps? Mike Vips here. Today I have an RDA to show you guys. And this RDA was sent to me for the purpose of this review from Tiger Tech. It is a collaboration between YouTube reviewer Vaping with Twisted 419 has returned. Yes, not 420, it's 419 has returned. Yes, Twisted and Tiger Tech collaboration, the momentum. RDA. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive down. We're going to do coil placement tutorial, cotton, come back, and vape it. And I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Momentum RDA. And here's the packaging the Momentum RDA by Tiger Tech and Twisted 420 comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a tri tool, you get extra screws. You're going to get flathead and Allen key screws, 510 drip tip adapter squonk pin o-rings extra 810 drip tip and your momentum rda all right guys and here is the momentum rda by tiger tech and twisted 419 or 420 whatever you guys want to call them so it's going to come in five different colors this one here is the silver version also going to come in this black and stainless steel now the other two colors that i don't have are going to be gunmetal and if i'm not mistaken blue all right so this one here is the silver we do have um, M, I guess, for momentum. On the front, we have our airflow. Turn it around. Nothing on that side. More airflow on the other side. Momentum RDA in the bottom. Twisted's logo, Tiger Tech. Gold plated 510. 810 drip tip on top. All right? Got this nice acrylic drip tip. Nice beefy O ring. Pops right in. Sits beautiful. Airflow adjustment. Which is perfect. The tension on the airflow is perfect. You can see how it works. I could close off just the top. Close off the bottom. Just have the middle. I can start shutting down the middle. All right. Let's keep turning it, and you can see the middle starts opening. And you see that? So you could have different pattern if you keep turning it, and then it goes back to that original pattern where it's the top, the bottom, and then it starts shutting off the middle. So basically there is no single coil option with this and whatever you do on one side for the airflow obviously it's going to be on the other side. RDA is a 24 millimeter RDA. Let's check out the inside. Well, here's a look at the top piece. Airflow control, the AFC as you can see. All right, nice conical design. There's your barrel section. The holes on these look to be at least 1.5 millimeters. That's what it looks like, 1.2 to 1.5, somewhere around there for each opening that you see there. And you can see the inside is stainless steel, the outside is silver, it's basically bead blasted. I think that's what the proper terminology for it is. And here is the build deck. So we have double O-ring, we do have the lip that you see here, and all the build decks are going to be the same color that you see here. And uh, for the stainless and for the silver version, you really don't notice the lip, but as you could see on this black one, you could actually see the lip because it does stick out. There is like a little platform that you can see right there, which the top cap sits on. Kind of wish it was black, especially for this one here. So this way it matches up. Would have been nice if they had done that. But build deck, yes, it's a two post build deck. And what they've done here is they've got also your leads here. You see that, the way it's set up? Yeah, it's... uh. Interesting build deck. I'll tell you guys something about this. When I first saw this build deck, I was like, eh, eh. But I'll say something right now. This is one of the simplest, easiest build decks I've ever built on. Now, for your uh, juice well in here, you don't have really the deepest juice well. And because you have these posts inside your juice well, it cuts down on your space that you have. But you do have some space because of the way they did it over here, which kind of compensates for that. But uh, yeah, it's not a whole lot of juice well going on in here. Now, with the post screws fully open, post screws fully open. Did I say screws? Anyway, you do have a little lip, as you can see here, sticking up, a little notch to keep your coils from bouncing out. All right, so we're gonna do a coil placement tutorial. I'll show you guys the proper way to build this, the proper size to cut your coil down, and we will be using our coily for that. So, put the RDA down. Coils I'll be using are some Coil Cloud Fuse Claptons. All right, you get these on coilcloud.com. Use coupon code MV15. You get 15% off all their coils on the site. 
And guys, they make some great coils out of New York. Check them out. So I got my coil on a coiling rod. You could use a coiling rod or you don't have to. And I'm just going to lift one side. See that? That's all you need to do. Got that done. Grab our coily. And I'm going to put it in here at 5.5 millimeters. All right, that's what I want to cut it at. 5.5. snip all right got that cut we'll grab our rda this is how simple this is stick that in there stick that there push this a little bit in tighten that down this is like the greatest tool ever right here yeah, buddy, love this. So, give that a little lift. And then you can do a little test. You grab your airflow control here, stick it there. So you can, oh, wrong way. There we go. So you get an idea for your coil placement. You can see. Now, if you think you're too low, you could raise it up. You could even go up to 6 millimeters or 6.5. All right, but you could also raise it up just a tad and it's still going to be able to catch and grab your coil. So now that I got that in place, grab my coiling rod. Did I grab the correct one? No, there we go. Right there. And just position it. And there you have it. That's perfectly placed right there in my opinion. Airflow control. Beautiful. And there you go. All right, now that I got the other coil in position, this is like, it's so simple to cut your wire. No obstruction. Kind of digging this build deck that they've done on here. All right, where's that piece? All right, see that piece right there? So you got to be careful. Yeah, make sure. To make sure always after you build something, do a little bit like this. Make sure there's no pieces inside there. And there you have it. There she is built. Very simple. Simple to build on. Now, there's been rumors I've heard. Actually, Tiger Tech messaged me and told me that there might be an issue to where if you over tighten these, the posts will bend. Now, we could demonstrate that here. Let's see if we could make this post bend. All right, so, but they told me they will fix that issue on the release version. I'm cranking that down hard. You guys saw that turn? There we go. All right. Let's see, and there you have it. You see what happened just now? This piece looks like it went inwards. See it? All right, so it will bend on you if you over tighten down on them. All right, but they said that they will fix this problem with the released version. All right, guys, let me show you guys right here. You can see a little opening there and right there. And that's for your squonking. And you can see on the post itself, you have a hole right there and a hole right there. You know, so, yeah, it's all set up for you for squonk mode. And then they have this ramp thingy right here, which I really don't understand what the purpose of the ramp was, why they did this. But it does lower your piece here. You see that? Yeah, I, I just don't understand that part, why they did that. Maybe something to do with the airflow. Who knows? There we go. Got one side some cotton in there. Now, yeah, I'm using, yes, the Vapefly shoelace cotton. I like calling it shoelace cotton. I think it sounds dope. Why not? All right. Beautiful. These are three millimeter coils. Grab my scissors. And just cut it right there. Don't need a lot of cotton with this. Remember, this does not have a jeep, a deep. Did I say jeep? Uh, Mike, a deep juice well on here. So now that I got that situated, just fluff it up. It don't really need a comb out unless you want it to be, you know, if it feels like there's too much cotton that's too fat in there with cotton. But uh, you really don't need it because there's really no travel going on with this. And this cotton, cotton is pretty fluffy. And you can see how nice and beautiful it just goes in there. Yeah, I've been so far, I've been impressed with this Vapefly cotton. It's been pretty good. See that? How simple and easy it is. All right, now, juice I'm going to use is, uh, this uh, was given to me as a gift from one of my peeps from Kuwait. And yes, and check it out, I got the warning on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, it's uh, freshly, uh, it's called Freshly Baked Butterscotch Cookies. Some good stuff right here. This is from the Don Vape, made in the States. Yep, so shout out to Mr. Hussein who hooked me up with this. We'll put some liquid on there. We'll just saturate it up. 
get it started dump some liquid down the center there we go all right i won't bore you with the rest i'll do the rest off camera now after i've done all that we grab our top cap which is right here put this all together just like that pop that on and yeah we are ready to vape let's go back up on top let's vape on it and i'll give you guys my thoughts And that was the Momentum RDA by Twisted and Tiger Tech. Mike, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Okay, my thoughts on this RDA. When I first saw the RDA, I was like, ah, alright. Yeah, I'm being that serious. It wasn't really like, eh, okay. But um, I think the key feature is the build deck on here, in my opinion. It is simple. Very simple to build. This is a very easy build deck. You know, I think that's the key feature of this. Uh, airflow on here, it's a nice airflow, real nice airflow. Flavor, flavor's been great on this RDA. All the O-ring tension, beautiful, beautiful O-ring tension on this. I've been using this, this one here for a while now and everything, my airflow adjusting on here is perfect. I love the knurling on top, it just makes it simple to adjust the airflow. I like your airflow options, the different steps it has. I like using it with the top three closed off and I just use the second and bottom row. Those are the only airflows I use and it's just, it's a beautiful vape. I'm impressed with the vape off it, you know? Like I said, when I first seen it, I was like, eh. But after vaping it, man, not bad. This is a pretty good RDA. Let me have a vape. All right, full, uh, like I said, top row off. Delicious, man. I got tropical acai in here. Flavors on point. And like you guys saw, butterscotch cookie on this one. Actually, I need to raise the wattage on this. I'll put it up to 92 watts. Beautiful airflow. Fully open. For me, it's a little bit too much, fully open. A lot of airflow. We'll show, have just the middle row open. Nice restrictive lung hit. And that flavor just intensifies on it. Or for me, I like it with just a little more airflow. And the flavor's still great. So going back to pros, the drip tip selection that they've done with this not bad all right pro on the drip tips eight tens everything fit beautiful now we're going to go to the cons yeah the cons first cons gonna have to be uh this should have had a locking mechanism for your top cap top cap needs to have a locking mechanism where it keeps that airflow you know in place now i understand you want to maybe move it around adjust it uh, no it should have had a locking feature because if you right now it's unscrewing for me but once this gets a little bit saturated or if you put the rda down when you first build it and put liquid before a liquid could get onto your o-rings whatever or if you put liquid on your rings by mistake and you have it tightened down whatever it's going to be a bitch to get off because your cap let me see if i can do it i'm trying to unscrew it off right now you can see what's happening i'm just spinning around All right so i have to like put a little pressure right here on the bottom and Maybe give it a snap. There you go. See, I just snapped it. Now I can get it off. So yeah, this definitely needed a locking mechanism. Now my second con for this is going to have to be the lip part, the bottom. You can see on the black, you could see the stainless steel build deck right there. So yeah, uh, that should have been either, okay, fine, you want to do a lip, keep the lip inside the RDA, or maybe they could have painted the lip part with the bottom of the deck for the black or for the different colors that they they're gonna have obviously for the silver and the stainless steel you won't notice that because it's the same color you know so for aesthetic purposes yeah that in my opinion is a con now going into some uh subjective cons uh one thing i'm gonna have to say the juice well is not the deepest but it does compensate on the sides squonking on this has been fine i've had no issues with it uh no leaking i really haven't had any leaking issues or anything but that's me i'm more i know when to drip or when to squonk and when to stop doing that 
whether it's a bottom or side airflow but to the inexperienced people that always leaking yeah that's going to be a con for them because that's basically called user error you know what i'm saying the thing that really bothered me in a way and hopefully they're correct that they said they will is that post when if you over tighten that screw yeah what happens is that screw is is tightening down because of the threading it's lifting the piece up and it's making it bend that's why it's bending inwards the post on this so uh, yeah if you're gonna over tighten it on the black one I tightened it down without even knowing I had no issues but with this one here I wanted to do it on video where I had it tightened down it was fine but then when I over tightened it yes your posts are gonna bend on here so they uh, Tiger, Tiger Tech needs to find a way to solve that because some people love to really crank down and tighten their uh, leads on their RDAs and yeah it's gonna bend on them so they need to fix that issue they said they will they emailed me they told me they were gonna fix that issue not have that issue but yeah I had to mention it and one more thing I want to mention this one is gonna be in the subjective con thing uh, like with the silver you really can't see the logo I like it when they're stealthed in uh, unless it's something a logo that's like ooh, that looks awesome you know what I'm saying but uh yeah just the M like that the way it's come on focus there you go the way that's showing right now it's kind of like eh. I kind of wish it was just black all stealthed out with a logo of stealth on it. Maybe if they could release a version that way. So this way the M doesn't stand out. But uh, all in all, vape quality off this RDA, I'm impressed with it. You're going to get a great vape off the RDA. Did I do a flavor uh, rating yet? No, I haven't. Flavor rating on this RDA from a 1 to 10 scale for flavor, I'm going to give it like an 8.2. Yeah, 8.2 on flavor. It's pretty good flavor on this RDA. And the airflow complements the flavor that this RDA gives. You know? So all in all, I want to congratulate uh, Twisted. Congratulations to Tiger Tech for this collaboration. Not bad of an RDA. Has a few quirks that uh, need to be worked out in my opinion. But for vape quality, when you have it all built and you're vaping it, you get a nice vape off this RDA. Price. $29.99 myvpro.com they're not in stock yet uh, it says they will be in stock August 19th but it's the 29th right now and reason being is because of the delay I guess because of that post screw situation they're updating them they're fixing that issue before they release it so the release version hopefully that you guys all get you will not have that issue with the posts bending on you all right so in the description below I'll have a link to myvpro.com a link to tiger tech and a link to whoever else is selling it. i think maybe in china heaven gifts if they do i'll throw their link down below also coilclout.com the coils i use great coils made in the united states beautiful use coupon code mv15 you get 15 percent off your order made in new york city baby damn straight that's it i'm done thank you and remember keep on vaping